This is a video about Quintilian. Quintilian is this guy. He wrote a bunch of stuff and had a lot of opinions. Get ready to learn a thing. Again, this is Quintilian. Quintilian lived from 35 to 96 AD, so he lived to be 61 years old. He was born in Caligaris, now called Galaura, I pronounced that wrong, but it's fine, in Spain. But his dad sent him to Rome to go to school. After learning from legends such as Demetrius Afer and Cicero, he returned back home for a while to practice law. Then he went back to Rome to open a school until he retired under imperial pressure. He died in 96. He managed to write a 12-volume textbook during his lifetime and some declamations, but we don't really care about those. We only care about the textbook, Institutio Oratoria. Yeah, this means Institutes of Oratory. The entire thing is about rhetoric and how Quintilian thinks it should be defined and taught to students. Quintilian covers a lot of stuff in these 12 volumes, but here are some of the most important points. In Volume 1, Quintilian describes the way one should teach a child from an early age. The father, mother, nurse, and pedagogue should all speak good Latin, he says, to promote the child's learning of proper language. There's actually research to back this up. The Laboratory for Language Development at the Riken Brain Science Institute in Tokyo conducted a five-year experiment testing the differences in baby development when mothers talk to their children with baby talk versus regular language. The results suggest that talking to babies in proper language gives them enhanced cognitive ability and a larger vocabulary. Quote, they say that chatting to babies under the age of one helps them make friends as well as making them brighter because they are better able to discover the world around them. In their book Analyzing Quintilian's Works, Wise and Cleves state, Education for Quintilian begins in the cradle and ends only when life ends and he is quick to note that every experience can educate for good or ill. In fact, Quintilian declares that the attention to such details is vitally necessary. In Bloomer's journal, he emphasizes this as well. He says, Quintilian's greatest theoretical claim is that his process renders the child moral and makes the boy a man. Child training in advanced linguistic skills has become the ethically constitutive process of being fully human. Biology, family, nurture, social rights, and philosophical ethics are not overtly dismissed, but instead are eclipsed by the imperative to educate, and that is the teacher of rhetoric who emerges as uniquely important for the formation of the Roman heir. In Volume 2, Quintilian gives us his definition of rhetoric, which is the art of speaking well. He means this in both ability and virtue, that one must be a good man in order to perform good rhetoric. It's important to note that Quintilian views a teacher and student relationship to be akin to a father and son relationship, and that a teacher, along with teaching, should also act as a guide and mentor to student. He also advocated teaching even after retirement, which he himself did until he died. He mentions this in Book 12, saying, What indeed can be more honorable of a man than to teach that which he himself has through knowledge? Quintilian worked as a teacher for 20 years. Among his notable students are Pliny the Younger, Tacitus, Suetonius, and Juvenal. But there are some shortcomings to Quintilian's ideas. As we know, rhetoric can be performed without good intentions. This counters Quintilian's idea that all rhetoric has to be good in order to be called rhetoric. Another shortcoming of Quintilian's work is his ignorance of women in rhetoric. He mentions that women should be well-versed in Latin, but only to benefit the sons born who will go on to study rhetoric not to benefit themselves. Quintilian wasn't perfect, but the scope of his influence was vast. Murphy tells us that the international scope of Quintilian studies is evidenced by the number of European languages used to discuss him, German, French, Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, as well as English. And that concludes my learning tool video. I hope you learned a thing.